Hi folks, John Richardson here, holding up a 29 5K rear kitchen Arctic Fox that we just got in. This is a 2020 locally made out of La Grande, Oregon. We're in Junction City, Oregon. Now, if you haven't heard how wonderful Northwood is, then you're either new to the industry or you've had your, had your head in the sand. I'm going to point out some things that are just absolutely, after 29 years, Northwood being in business for 26 of those, how many people come to ask for an Arctic Fox travel trailer or a fifth wheel? They are the best in the industry, bar none. Starting with a fiberglass front cap here. That's designed to give you aerodynamics so that you're cutting the wind rather than pushing the wind. It's going to give you better gas mileage. You'll notice here how we have an 88 degree turning radius on it. What that does is allows you to make a sharper turn without worrying about wiping out your cab. <laughs> they now have more ride fifth wheel hitch here, which is going to absorb all the shocks when, you, when you're going down bumpy roads which believe it or not here in Oregon, we just happen to have a few of those. These units are made for really off-road use. That's what they're designed for. They work wonderful in RV parks and going down the highway, but truly they're made for off-road use. <clears throat> One of the things they do that I think is very unique is they start by building their own frame. Now, depending upon the weight of the rig, this guy's going to weigh in the 11,500 range. You're going to have an 8-inch or 10-inch I-beam frame. They designed that so that they can build the coach for the frame that it's sitting on. One of the big things about an Arctic Fox is it is a four-season coach. Now, how they attain that is... They have a designated holding tank area with ductwork going down into it to heat the fresh water tank so that you can take this thing up to the Wallawas in Oregon into South Dakota in the wintertime should you have a notion to for elk hunting or that type of thing. Some of the things I'll point out about it just visually is one inch thick compartment doors. Now as we all know in the fifth wheel, generally speaking, we got a bed up here. So the last thing you want is a real thin door that cold air can come in and come up through the floor. So that's the idea of putting one inch thick doors on it. Notice there's a slam latch door so that I can slam it shut just like on a motorhome. Notice we got two seven and a half gallon propane tanks with an auto changeover. <clears throat> so we're going to close that up. Next thing I want to show you in the fifth wheel is massive, massive storage. Take a look at that. Very, very adequate to put any of the stuff that you're going to need for the different seasons that you're using it in. I might add it also has an auto leveling system. That's an electric leveling system, not hydraulic. Very fast six-point leveling system. As I point out other things here, as we're going around, <coughs> we have a, a awning that is an adjustable awning so that you can drop one end down to eliminate water accumulating or snow accumulating or what have you on the awning and ripping it. Notice the <coughs> new stairs that Northwoods come out with. Very, very durable steps. They fold up into the door and one thing that I just learned about recently is these guys actually have, if I could show you here, a hydraulic assist. Notice I'm using one finger to lift this step. So if I need to adjust this leg here because I'm on uneven ground, I can adjust this one leg or two without using all my fingers. Look at that. It supports itself. So very, very nice. You're going to see these type of steps, but you're not going to see in a hydraulic assist with it. 
So this guy's going to fold up into the door when you don't need the steps, okay? When you do need them, one finger, drop it down. Now we're going to go in. Now, let's go in. I want to show you some things about a rear kitchen. Rear kitchen's pretty self-explanatory, obviously. We got a kitchen in the rear. Now, starting before we get up here to the kitchen, I want to start with a 5 8 tongue and groove marine grade plywood. There's moisture in Oregon. It rains occasionally. Northwood uses the best of everything they can put their hands on. So we start with marine grade plywood, 20 mil laminate over the top of it, solid surface countertops, solid wood cabinetry in every single Northwood. Solid wood, not a vinyl wrap, but solid wood. The other thing I want to point out is shelves here above the sink. So I don't have to stack 15 dishes on top of one another and they all fall out when I open up the cabinet door. This is the things that cost a little bit more money, but you're really, really going to appreciate the value of having a shelf in here. Things like pull-out faucets so that I can rinse. A double sink. Stainless. Look at the size of that sink there. Nice big full sink to wash your dishes in, smaller sink to dry them out, pull out faucet, solid surface countertops. Not only are they solid surface, but they're very, very nice L-shaped. Look at the counter space we got in this guy, complete with a spot for a garbage can, garbage can that I can get to from outside. Now we'll talk about here, underneath the sink, a couple places to put spices. We have four drawers. These are full extension drawers with roller bearing drawer guides. One, two, you can count, three, four. <clears throat> Look at the top of this gas oven. Very, very nice, furry on, lighted dials at night, very attractive. You have a furry on convection oven, microwave, cabinets, and more cabinets, more cabinets, more cabinets. Everywhere there's a possibility of putting a cabinet as long as it's not interfering with our head or something like that. There's a cabinet in it, which gives it the structural strength. <clears throat> Plenty of LED lighting. Notice the refrigerator. This is a double door nor cold with a double door freezer. One of the nice things I like about Norcold, if you've watched any of my videos over the years, a recessed freezer. That deep. If you've got stuff up in your freezer, you're going to appreciate that. You've been traveling all day. You get ready to pull something out. You don't have to worry about water dripping down on the floor. Okay, so this is automatic, electric, or gas. <clears throat> Four chairs, piano bench hinges, storage underneath your chairs. If you got some stuff you'd like to put away, like maybe some gold or silver, or some magazines, or some sheet music, maybe you're a keyboard player. You've got a table that will extend out so that you got room. There's a couple extra director chairs up in the bedroom. We can have a total of six chairs here. But if you just look at the beauty of this coach, it's under $100,000, Thomas Paine furniture, recliners, heat, massage, wonderful, wonderful high-end product. Big screen TV, LED lights throughout, AM, FM, CD player, fireplace, Little things like a cup holder. You got a cup holder on each of your chairs. You got one here, you're putting your Pepsi down. Residential lighting. You're looking for more cabinets. The thing I'll tell you about Northwood is these are a very, 
well-built warm coach in the winter time you'll really appreciate it you have a five and a half inch trust roof notice that's a crowned roof up there with ozide up on top of it the uh, the idea that is we've got r18 in the ceiling heat rises air comes down you don't want your heat to escape through your roof more cabinets here uh, day night day day night shades easy pull down windows wherever you look in here you got windows that open you'll see in the slide out I've got a window here on both ends that opens I can get airflow here I can open up my two back windows not only do I want to look out, but I'd like to have some airflow. It's hot and stifling. I might not be where I can run my generator. I can open up windows and get the ventilation moving through. Now here, as we get ready to go up, another cabinet here. Hanging closet. Dry erase board here so that when we get into the command center, we can write little notes to each other. Hi, honey, I'll be back. I'm going down to the clubhouse for 15 minutes. Write it on here. Wipe it off just like you do at home. Your command center, your slide outs, your electric awning. Notice the ZAMP solar charger included on the rig is a solar panel up there so that it's going to maintain batteries. By the way, we are going to give you two 12 volt batteries we're going to fill your propane we're going to have everything set up on your walkthrough in order that when you're done there's not going to be any questions and if there is we've got 47 bays and we probably got 30 technicians to answer any questions that possibly you forgot so now we're going to go up into here and for those of us that have hip problems or have had We've actually got a little grill here to pull ourselves up. Look at this. Now we're coming up into the bathroom. In the bathroom, very open as you can see. I have a full-size shower. I can get in that with a skylight, handheld shower. Not just a wall board here, but a place to put shampoos, to put bars of soap, that type of thing. Sit down, shower, should I need it. Here, a magnifying glass, makeup lighted mirror, time, five time magnification. Look at that. It makes me look that much better. Just kidding. Okay, medicine cabinet, solid surface, sink, cabinet underneath it, GFI protected outlet here because we've got some water that could possibly drip down your light here we have a curtain here a folding curtain that will allow us to partition ourselves off while we're getting dressed in the morning the bathroom the commode right here with a fan up above it and not only the the throne in here but another cabinet in here, I invite the cameraman to take a peek at that so you can see most places, most manufacturers are not going to give you a cabinet in the bathroom. If they do, it's very, very small. Now, this is going to have <coughs> six drawers in the bedroom. I don't have the slide out out. We're crammed in pretty tight here. Notice the bed got storage underneath it <clears throat> you have fantastic fans up here in the ceiling skylight I opened up the wardrobe <clears throat> as you can see here all cedar lined this has the ability to put washer dryer inside it on one end you got more shelving on the other and then across in the middle is lots and lots of shelves and a coat rack that goes all the way across LED lighting windows on each side of the slide out that'll open if you care to have a, a little breeze in the evening while you're sleeping i invite you if you have any other questions come down i'm in the fifth wheel center ask for jr john richardson the harley guy any of those names that get me being here almost 29 years i invite you to call come in or give me a holler if you got any questions 
and the number is right there on the bottom of the uh, video. Thank you so much for your time.